Now here's an interesting example. We have convert the decimal, the repeating decimal, 0 0.9 repeating, to a fraction. Now if we go through our algebraic steps, where first we set that repeating decimal equal to x, we recognize that one digit repeats, so we'll multiply both sides of the equation by 10 to the first, or just 10. So that will give us 10x equals 9.99999 repeating. Then if we separate the 9.999 repeating with the whole number of 9, or that integer of 9, and then have the decimal repeating part away from it, that would give us 10x equals 9 plus 0.9999, which is also equal to x. So we can substitute that that equation would become 10x equals 9 plus x. Then if we want to solve for x, we'll subtract x from both sides, and then that will give us 9x equals 9. And then dividing by 9 on both sides gives us that x equals 1. So the repeating decimal of 0.9999 or 0.9 repeating, if we use our algebraic steps, if we set up an equation and go through our motions and solving for x and manipulating the equation to get the fraction form, we end up getting 1. So it begs the question, does 0 0.9 repeating equal 1? Right? It's certainly close enough. You have that repeating 0.999 forever and ever going on. So with this method, it, we could argue that it does equal 1. Even if we use our shortcut or what we just noticed with a pattern, you would know the one repeating digit is 9, so that would become the numerator of the fraction. And then since only one digit repeated, the denominator would only be 1, 9, so that would turn into the fraction 9 over 9, but that still supports that 0 0.9 repeating is equal to 1 because 9 over 9 simplifies to 1. So it's just very interesting because we know that 0 0.9 repeating isn't 1, but when you try to convert it into a fraction form, A over B, it does equal 1. So it's just an interesting example that comes up with these type of problems and with our processes and our understanding of how to convert these repeating decimals to fractions.